Hey Woofers, Woof about this. Come along with us to AKC's Meet the Breeds event in New York City. I guarantee there will be at least one breed you've never heard of in your life. Come on, let's go pet some dogs. First up, we have the Norfolk Terrier. Not to be confused with their slightly larger cousin, the Norwich Terrier. The Norfolk Terrier might look like a lap dog weighing in at a maximum of 12 pounds, but is actually one of the feistiest and most confident working dogs you'll ever meet. The most distinct factor about a Norfolk Terrier is their adorable folded over ears. These pups rarely ever want to sit still. Next, we have the Lagoto Romagnolo, which literally translates to lake dog from Romagna. They were originally bred to hunt waterfowl in wet marshlands, but now have found a new calling in truffle hunting. Did you know that this is the only breed of dog bred for the sole purpose of finding truffles? Their thick coat protects them from branches and thorns while hunting, and their amazing sense of smell and desire to dig create the perfect trifecta for truffle hunting. These hypoallergenic dogs also make for a great family dog. Moving to the region of Japan, we have the Kishu Ken. These dogs were originally in the wild many years ago and roamed the mountains of Japan hunting boar and deer. These medium-sized dogs come in white, red, and brindled. There even used to be a spotted coat Kishu, but they had disappeared by 1945. This high-energy dog is beloved in Japan and is a very affectionate breed. This next breed is quite the mouthful. The Sholoid's Quinti is a 3,000 year old ancient Aztec dog of the gods. They are now known as loving companions as well as vigilant watchdogs. There's a legendary myth in Mexico that says Zolos were formed from the same bone of life and were created to protect humans and guide them in the afterlife. This breed was also considered one of the first dogs of America because it was one of the earliest dogs to be domesticated. What a large history for this little pup. This next dog vaguely resembles the end of a mop, but is actually the Conmondor breed. While he can probably camouflage fairly well, he'll probably give his hiding spot away with their notoriously loud barks, which makes this dog a very good guard dog. They were originally bred to be left alone in open fields as the chief protector of the herds. Their herding tendencies make them fairly stubborn when it comes to training and obedience nowadays. His mop-like coat was developed to protect the dog from extreme weather and camouflage it from predators. Surprisingly enough, the Commodore is not born with their iconic dreadlocks, but are actually born fluffy and begin to mat around 8 to 10 months. This Hungarian dog is one of the more rare breeds in the world, with less than 10,000 in the world. So consider yourself lucky if you see one. Next time you see one of these breeds, woof about this. Till next time, woofers. When we paddle out into the lineup, people smile. There's no doubt, you know, and we'll take off on a wave and I hear people going, Rosie, go Rosie. It's, it's pretty cool. There's actually quite a few people who surf with their dogs and then we have these competitions where they surf on their own and they're